Joining us here at ASCO 2011, another presenter. This is Professor Payman Haji. He is from the Phillips University in Marburg, Germany, specialty in breast cancer. Um, thanks for stopping by and visiting with us. Of course. What can you tell us about uh, this look at compliance that you did? Well, PACT is a compliance study where we investigated the effect of an intervention, a written intervention, the reinforcement letters to patients with breast cancer in the adjuvant setting. All patients received an aromatase inhibitor and half of them were randomized to receive this information and the other half did not. And what we thought is that this reinforcement letters, this information on breast cancer would increase the compliance rate. But unfortunately, our results indicate that the reinforcement letters, the information we packed in, did not increase, statistically significantly not increase compliance. So with that, we were, at the first glance, disappointed because we thought information would increase compliance, which is about 50% after two years, only 50%. But at the sec in the second line, we, we realized that the relationship between the doctor and the patient, the trusty relationship is really important. It's not so much give, handing them out or sending them information, it's more the one-to-one, face-to-face uh, interaction which drives compliance. It's fascinating because you didn't get the results you wanted, but in the end you really did, as I'm sure you now have some recommendations. Yeah, um, we, we are conducting at the moment a second trial because we wanted to fade out side effects and we, want, we, we were not sure if the side effect profile of this aromatase inhibitor used in our study maybe led to a decrease in compliance. So we are investigating this more thoroughly in a new study called COMPACT, but I'm pretty sure that the side effect is only one part of compliance but the incidence of side effects does not explain that our program, which we inducted, had no effect whatsoever. It's interesting. You never stop learning. Oh, no, you never do. And you have to go on because for, for us as clinicians and doctors practice in medicine, 50% compliance after two years is absolutely unacceptable because this one tablet a day would decrease your risk of relapse to up to 50% but you have to take it in order to have the effects. And unfortunately in the US, like in Europe, women are not taking their medication if they have to take it for several years. And th the problem is that we are not really aware why that is the case. So now we have to investigate this more thoroughly in a realistic setting, not in a clinical trial setting, but in a realistic setting, which we in Germany call non-interventional studies. And that is required to understand what is the underlying mechanism of non-compliance in patients with breast cancer. Professor, congratulations on your, your findings. Best Thank of you. luck going forward. Thank you very much. Professor Payman Haji from the Phillips University in Marburg, Germany.